cut down on um, the amount of material that have to carry to and from the classroom. Um, another thing that they want to do is they want all the um, all teachers that want iPads to be able to have them, and um, they've already been offered to teachers to have them. <coughs> um, this is just a movement to go forward, as iPads are the cutting edge technology at the moment, and they feel that there are a number of apps and abilities that um, teachers can get gain from using these iPads in the classroom. Um, as for adjuncts, um, with getting rid of the teachers, the teaching stations and the computers, it would be mandatory for adjuncts to carry their own computers, which is an issue in itself. But they feel that um, as adjuncts are coming in and they're doing their own thing anyway, that they should have their own technology and be able to just connect up with um, whatever's here. They would continue to have the wires and stuff so we could do presentations, but they would just get rid of the main um, computer, in essence. And in some classrooms, such as the very large lecture halls, they would continue to have the computer in the classroom. And then as for the summer, um, they would have rentals so that people would still be able to work when they needed to. As for right now, this is where we are. Um, right now, all, all full-time faculty have been provided laptops. They've also been offered iPads, and to this point, 152 iPads have been distributed to those that have accepted this offer. Um, the plan was to give students iPads, and this plan was supposed to happen about two years ago, and the plan was that originally when people came in freshman year, they would um, pay us a select fee, they'd get an iPad, and in the next two years, um, when they were juniors, they would get another iPad and that they'd be able to take with them. And this would just be so that they could interact better, we could move towards using the textbooks in the classroom instead of bringing one. So it was basically like making it easier to carry think, um, one item around instead of having a book bag full of books. And there's certain issues that came up as a result of this as well. Some of these issues or factors of opposition include uh, the biggest one, uh, money. Uh, iPads cost a lot of money, and to uh, spread those across the campus would uh, be a pretty significant uh, chunk of change. Um, secondly, Chris mentioned that we have 27 uh, different departments that would have to sign off on this or agree that uh, this is what they want to do too. Um, it's a pretty enormous undertaking considering department has their own, you know, board head or, or whatever. Um, also, lack of familiarity, uh, lack of familiarity, I can't talk today, uh, with the new technology. Um, people may or may not be familiar with how to use an iPad or other mobile devices, um, and are kind of scared to uh, adopt these new things. Um, also, the uh, general resistance to change. Uh, don't like the change, and this is a pretty, pretty big change. Um, <coughs> and those people that are comfortable with it are probably pretty willing to change because, it, I mean, they'd like to have uh, greater mobility and connectability uh, in the classroom. Uh, another opposition factor is the uh, bookstore financial concerns. Uh, firstly, we we might be switching to electronic textbooks if everybody's got iPads. You can get uh, textbooks uh, electronically now. So that would mean less sales at the bookstore. Uh, I don't know if, if the textbook store actually gets like kickbacks or anything from the publishers based on their sales or any buybacks. Um, but that would be pretty negatively impacted um, based on what happens. Um, also on that, um, I'm not sure if all the textbooks are available electronically. Uh, some may and some may not be. Um, so those are uh, some general factors of opposition to the plan. Um, one of those factors of opposition was the uh, uh, that they're not familiar with the technology. And uh, you can see by another one of these uh, cool charts that uh, it's the same colors except the, the answers have changed. It's uh, expert, very skilled, fairly skilled, not very skilled, no skill and do not know slash use. And this was basically asking them uh, how 
skill that you on um, copyright clearance regulations for higher education. That's the first one there. And you see that people are kind of split uh, between fairly skilled and uh, not very skilled, and hardly anybody decided they were an expert on that. But you can see that the, uh, there, there's a few key ones that have a, a large degree of uh, very skilled answers, and that's Microsoft Word, uh, PowerPoint, and the ability to use the internet. And those are all pretty commonly used throughout all the classroom. But uh, you can see some of the other ones aren't, aren't very good. Uh, namely mobile technology. Um, a lot of people uh, answer just fairly skilled or not very skilled on that one, and that is uh, one of the, the main factors in dealing with this, you know, handing out all this mobile technology to people. Um, as we sat down with ITS and had our meeting, they had a couple questions of their own, some things that they wanted to figure out. The first one, um, was that they wanted to do some kind of survey to see what the first year students, when coming in, are expecting of technology, which also goes for they want to know, as well as high school, what high school students are being brought up with, because they want to keep on the same par with high school technology and then into our technology, whatever that would be. Um, so at the same time, they want to see what students technologically expect from professors, faculty, teachers, what they can do for the students, uh, what they can be able to do to learn, how it can be engaging, how they can, you know, learn more effectively, so to speak. Um, and so these were kind of questions that ITS had when we first sat down. So we had a recommendation for our, at least our stance and where we were in this process was data gathering, data gathering, data gathering. We have a lot of data to gather. We have a lot of things to put together first before we can start moving forward. As we saw before, um, we need to move to get different academic departments to agree with this in order to move forward as far as technology. Um, what they have right now is a lot of data, and it's really just we have gathered all this unobtrusive stuff. Like we have the historical data, we have the records, we have all the statistics that go along with it. Um, as far as moving people forward, we really need to provide some sort of training or demonstrations to get um, different departments to go along with this. We need to create some sense of urgency so that people will actually desire to.